everybody, it's your old pal Larry back from Monster Movie App with the weekly horror movie finds. It's been a long time since I've done one of these and shit's accumulating like fucking crazy. Uh, I'm starting off with a little stack today. We're just gonna we're just gonna get the tip wet today, and then uh, you know next week we'll fucking hit it hard, really hard, like fucking hard. I've got like uh, I've got stuff from a convention that I went to, and uh, I bought uh, 288 VHS tapes from a lady off of Craigslist that I've yet to go through. I've got shit going on, but like you know, I'm gonna go through it, and uh, those will be two separate ones. This is just like a little stack of some thrift store, flea market, and eBay shit that I've had fucking stacking up for a while let's do vhs first who's here vanessa and todd and mom hello everybody what is this face hair i don't know what you're talking about this is the same face hair i've had for years so uh yeah vhs you know i saw this movie when it came out in fucking 91 or something and I fucking hated it. I hate this movie. Uh, and, uh, you know, I fucking... I feel like everybody loves it. And maybe I need to give it another shot. It's been, what, fucking decades now? And I found this for fucking nothing. So I was like, I'm going to grab it and rewatch it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to fucking hate it again. Just, I mean, just based on the artwork. It looks fucking corny as shit, doesn't it? I haven't seen the cabal cut that everybody's fucking talking about. Like, it's fucking 10 hours long. And now there's like a fucking 15 hour long one that's coming out soon. Um, You know, I'm thinking it's probably not necessary, but there's rabid fucking fans. Hello, Lindsay. Welcome aboard. Um, Yeah, there's rabid fans. They're fucking everywhere. Uh, I'm assuming they're all fucking idiots, but like, you know. I gotta, I gotta fucking give it another watch just to confirm. I did the same thing with fucking what is it? Um, Sleepwalkers. Is that at Sleepwalkers? Stephen King. Um, the fucking cat people remake, fucking rip off, whatever. Um, and like I hated that movie when I first saw it. Went back and watched it again. Still hate it. Still hate it. And Todd Lynch, buddy, my buddy says, Cabal cut socks stick to the original. Well, there you go. Well, the thing is, is that I think the Cabal cut was for people that fucking hated the original. Um, But like, I don't know, like, isn't the Cabal cut more serious? I just remember it being fucking goofy. Sleep Stalkers. That's not the name of it. Sleepwalkers. Isn't it Sleepwalkers? With the fucking, the cats, and, uh, it's a fucking Stephen King movie. Somebody look it up! While I get back to this. Uh, this is, uh, I've never seen this movie. I don't know anything about it. And, uh, you know, like, it's one of those tapes that I've never seen out in the wild. I know it's a full moon joint, which is usually a bad sign for old Larry. I'm not into that fucking shit. Um... Vanessa says, yes, cats, sleepwalkers. Yeah, sleepwalkers. Sleepstalkers might be fucking my jam. Sleepwalkers was fucking not. <laughs> twice. Twice I still hated it. Years later, I think I hated it more. So, uh, yeah, this looks like a top quality full moon production, as you can tell by <laughs> these pictures. I don't know. I don't know why I do this to myself. You know, <laughs> I, just, I just can't stop. I have a fucking problem. And I, and I keep fucking going. Um, so, this is probably, this is fucking, this is boner time. Fucking 100, 100% fucking aroused when I fucking saw this. I love bootlegs. I love bootlegs. It's fucking, uh, I don't know why either, you know? Like, this, it reminds me of the old convention days when, like, you could only get fucking, you know, like, Japanese movies on fucking badly made VHS bootlegs. And uh, I'm nostalgic for it. But, like, I found this at a fucking thrift store. What are the odds? What are the odds? Ring Zero. It's like the fucking prequel first part of the Japanese Ringu or Ring movie, depending on who you ask. 
And, uh, you know, I've seen it before. I have a DVD collection of fucking all of them. Well, not all of them now, but all of the good ones. And, uh, you know, wait till you see the tape, though. This is a... Somebody spent a lot of time on this motherfucker. I mean, there you go. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, somebody fucking... Somebody sat their fucking two-year-old down with a fucking marker and said... You know, I, I want a top-notch fucking label on this son or daughter. And uh, and by the way, go get the packing tape. Because we're going to need to fucking really, really attach that on there. And we'll sell it at conventions for fucking $15. Fucking saps like me will buy it. But, you know, like, what are the odds of finding that shit at a fucking thrift store? Uh, I'm still aroused. I'm aroused fucking looking at the shipping tape. Who's talking? nobody losers um some more thrift store stuff i guess i have a psp i have a psp and uh i'm living with it it's better than the fucking wii thing that i got going on but uh not my wiener like a fucking nintendo wii um i have one of those and i keep buying shit for it even though i've never played it and i have two of them and like accessories and i don't even fucking want them but if I found a horror video game tomorrow at a thrift store for cheap, I would buy another Wii game. And I'm fucking sick of myself. I'm fucking I'm sickened by myself. But, uh, you know, PSP is way cooler. And uh, I'm getting all horror movies that aren't fucking, like, god-awful remakes or whatever. You know, Resident Evil, the first one, was all right. I mean, compared to fucking all of the sequels... Maybe part two wasn't too fucking bad. Now it's just fucking CGI action bullshit. And, uh, you know, they fucking lost the plot on that. They're just fucking, they're just doing it to make a lot of money. And, uh, you know, they're awful. They're awful. Once again, I don't know why I bought this. I bought this movie... Or I watched this movie when it came out. John Carpenter's The Ward. It's the last John Carpenter movie. If you don't know how to take off these stickers, everybody. It's quick, like a Band-Aid. Like that. It won't leave any sticky residue. Works every time. Every time. So yeah, this movie kind of sucks, as I remember. Um, not as bad as Nightbreed, but... Uh, <laughs> It wasn't fucking good. It was a huge disappointment for John Carpenter fans. What do you want? The man's fucking 100 years old. You know, creativity's a young man's fucking game. You lose your fucking... You lose your, your edge when you get old. It's a fucking fact. I'm sorry. I've got no fucking edge. I wish I was doing these videos when I was fucking 20, man. I would fucking... I don't know. It would be fucking dangerous. I'd probably, probably be in fucking jail. Now, I'm going to be honest. I thought this movie was Don't Knock Twice when I bought it. This was at a fucking flea market. I think I was, you know, like, you go to flea markets, this shit's so cheap. Like, on average, a DVD's a dollar, maybe two tops. A lot of times they're like five or, what, five for three and shit like that. <laughs> it's crazy. It's craziness. And uh, I thought I liked the movie Don't 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 Knock Twice, which came out recently. And I was like, oh wow, un, unrated director's cut of Don't Knock Twice, uh, rebranded or retitled Knock Knock. <laughs> and uh, you know, I got at home and I was looking at these cheesy fucking stills on the back. We you know with the fucking giant fucking implants and whatnot, and I'm like. I don't remember that. I don't remember that. I think I'm fucking completely fucked in the head. And in most cases, I am. So that was another one. There was another one where I was fucked. You know, snap cases, everybody. Larry loves them. I can't fucking open that one and make the noise, unfortunately. I should have brought out, like, a fucking one that I could just make the noise with while I was showing this. But, uh... You know, what are the odds of finding Lost Boys still fucking shrink-wrapped from fucking back whenever this came out? Fucking forever ago. Standard and widescreen. I have an open copy of this. At least one. But, uh, you know, like, I have a thing for snap cases. 
And I'm gonna get them every fucking time. Every time. Here's some more fucking shipping tape on fucking movies. What's going on here? It's like, it's like twice. Some thrift stores will be like, you go, you go in and like, they have their fucking, their movies taped shut. And may, sometimes they'll have signs saying, don't open those. And, uh, you know, and I'm like, go fuck yourself. Like the keys come right out of my pocket. And I fucking like, you see that right there? That fucking cut. Larry did that, like, in the fucking store. I'll walk up in front of the fuck. I'll walk up in front of the front counter and be like, there, what do you fucking got to say? Because, like, I'm not buying this fucking disc sight unseen. Are you out of your fucking mind? Do you know, like, I mean, most thrift stores' DVDs have been used for fucking coasters and fucking, you know, like, skipping them across asphalt and shit. Like, they're so fucking scratched. I mean, I would say a majority of the fucking good DVDs that I find that I get excited about, I'll grab. And they're unfucking watchable Like, somebody took a screwdriver to them. So I'm supposed to spend two bucks and not fucking open it? Fuck you. I open it every fucking time. I'll do it right in front of employees. What are you going to do? Arrest me. $2 fucking DVD. Oh, yeah, Tartan, Tartan Video. I collect Tartan Video. I don't have this one. You know, I'm sure it's a great fucking movie. I have no idea how a C. Thomas Howell version of the Hillside Strangler ended up on Tartan Video. Usually, you know, like, I mean, to be honest, I, I collect the Tartan Asia Extremes because I like fucking Asian horror movies. Uh, but, like, some somewhere along the way at a fucking flea market or something, I got that. Also, illness. Here we go, eBay, everybody. eBay. Uh, this is a fucking great movie. It's not a remake. It's not a fucking remake. It's um, it's an original film. Even though, like, it's almost the same fucking storyline as the original 70s, late 70s, early 80s, The Children, which I have on Betamax. You're right, I do. And, uh, yeah, it's not a remake, though. Because I know. Here's the secret, everybody. You ready? If you want to know if something's a remake, you look it up on IMDb. If there's any fucking question at all, like, sometimes you can't fucking figure it out, you look it up on IMDb, and they have to fucking credit the original writer of the original script in the remake. So if that person's name is not credited under the writer's, then it's not a fucking remake. Like Silent Night. It's not a silent not a Silent Night Deadly Night remake because the original writer is not credited. It's a complete fucking modern ripoff of it. But uh, you know, it's not a fucking remake. So this is great. It's a fucking Christmas movie. It's going right in my holiday horror box. And uh, I'll watch it next Christmas. Haven't had a copy of it, and I got that on eBay for super fucking cheap. Like, sometimes you get stuff on eBay, and you're like, wow, these people are just eating the fucking shipping and everything. Like, you know, the cheapest you could ship that is 266 medium L. I think I got it for like three something, maybe. Or a fucking. I would never sell something that cheap. Who's fucking talking? This isn't a review, so we can just fucking. Just fuck off. Yeah. Is your chin cold? Vanessa asks. As a matter of fact, it feels really weird and it's cold. Yes. Uh, Vanessa says, is it knock knock for knockers? I don't know what that means, but uh, no, I think is the answer. And Dan. Hey, Dan. Love the new stash. Thanks, Dan. Dan is, uh, you know, he's a facial hair aficionado, so uh, I respect his opinion. Although I'll probably shave it off. I don't know. It's fucking... I don't know what I was doing. I fucking... I was like... Like, you ever fucking cut your... Like, you have, like, I had long hair or, like, I had a beard for a long time. Dan just... Dan cut off his fuck... Dan had, like, a huge fucking beard. And, like, you cut it off, you almost feel weird. It's like... You get, like, a little lightheaded and fucking, like, your your fucking skin crawls a little bit. It's fucking bizarre. It happens every time when I've had, like, some sort of body hair for fucking ever and then I shave it off. 
you get like fucking light or something. I don't know. It's like your fucking your body's rejecting the fucking move. Uh yeah, so uh I love this fucking movie. I don't care. I don't care what Ty West did with himself after this movie, which I haven't seen, but like I've heard bad things. But like, yeah, this is I found out you can get fucking like cool modern indie horror movie soundtracks. Who knew they were released, first of all? Um, on CD for fucking nothing on eBay. If you fucking apply yourself a little bit. Uh, this is another one where, like, I got it so fucking cheap. St- I think it was... Did I open this one? No, I couldn't have. Maybe. It might have been new. Uh, it's like new. But, uh, yeah, it was, like, so fucking cheap. That you wonder how people, they're just, like, giving their shit away. I'll just sell it for shipping money and make nothing. Now, this is exciting. More eBay, but like, it's horror punk metal. They're hard to classify, but that, that's why they're fucking awesome. Uh, a, a uh, I think Fort Lauderdale, Miami-ish uh, band called Death Becomes You that uh, I saw fucking for the first time in the early 2000s at a fucking Screen Fest convention. Now known as Spooky Empire. Go fuck yourself, everyone involved in that convention. Um, but yeah, so I saw them there. Fucking loved them. I got their album that they were selling at the time called uh, Make It Bleed. And uh, fucking been listening to it ever since in heavy rotation for fucking decades now. I'm not good at math, but like it's something like that. And... Uh, I remember writing them fucking for, like, after I fucking was, like, so into them. I was, like, I knew they had other stuff coming on. Uh, other stuff that was released. Vanessa's throwing me off. Talking about Floby. I'm not sure what that is. Did you shave with a Floby? Like, what are you saying? It's fucking... Are you saying it's not fucking even? Here, go fuck yourself. Floby? What the fuck... What are you trying to say? I shaved my head with a Floby. See that? Nice. So, uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, Death Becomes You. So I wrote them, like, way back, the early days of the internet. I think I emailed them. And I was like, no, it wasn't that early. Never mind, scratch that part. So I messaged them or emailed them fucking forever years ago. And I was like, you know, I know you have some fucking some previous uh, a previous CD and a fucking EP. And I love you guys. And fucking I would love to buy those from you. This is probably 2004 or something. I don't know. And uh, you know what they said? Fucking nothing. They never responded to me. So uh, for for years and years and years, I've been looking for these fucking extinct fossils of cds a small local band and uh they don't have any more i've talked to them in person since then they didn't have any that they were willing to part with um they released one of them on fucking itunes which i bought promptly and it had one uh, corrupt file that i couldn't use so uh i had to search on ebay for their fucking cds and guess what recently I found them both like at the same time from separate sellers, which is fucking weird. Uh, this is their fucking EP unearthed man. And like, they fucking did like such a great job. Like their fucking artwork. I forget who does their art, but the guy's pretty famous and, uh, worth every fucking penny. Now I own all of their fucking CDs. I think, uh, that was that one. And this one I got super cheap and it's the coolest. This is the coolest. This is their first re- their first uh, album, feature feature length. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know where I fucking it live. Um, the full length CD, and uh, once again, I think it's the same artist, but uh, fucking killer artwork and like, it's in a fucking DVD case. It's in a DVD case with a sexy disc. That's the dude right there. Gather. Gaither, he's done fucking, he's done a lot of fucking shit, Todd might know, Todd's still here, um, 
And this is fucking, this is little fucking, it's not just a piece of paper, it's a fucking book, everybody. It's a book full of fucking artwork. I mean, the artwork in it is fucking killer. And uh, I am fucking fully aroused right now just going through this. I mean, I sat down and fucking listened to this CD. And just like the olden days, you know, with like the covered wagons and shit where you'd get like a fucking vinyl or a CD and you would like pull out the fucking artwork and fucking play the songs and read the fucking lyrics along with it. It was great. It was great. Just like fucking Tony the Tiger. I had such a fucking good time doing that. And, uh, like, I fucking got this for nothing. Not there. Here. I got that one for fucking nothing. The other one was 25. And this one was, uh, fucking, like, 13 or something. Like, shipped. The person had no idea what they had. <laughs> it's it's worth a lot of money. I mean, it's probably worth 25 but, uh, maybe more. It's hard, hard to get. I don't even think the original members fucking have them. Maybe. I don't know. They might have one each. I don't know. Well, there you go. That's my fucking... Was this long enough? Um, that's my fucking weekly horror movie finds. I'm definitely going out tomorrow. It's been a while. Uh, just to fucking get out of the house, I'm going out and uh, see what I can find. And then uh, next week, I'm going to start hitting the fucking shit I got. I got a convention fucking review coming up for uh, Mad Monster Party, North Carolina. And a fucking suitcase full of shit that I bought there, which I will do next week. And then the week after, I'm going to do uh, the 288 VHS that I got. And uh, that should be extra fucking long. Hey, thanks for stopping by, everybody, and talking about my facial hair. Have a good weekend. Until I see you next time, as always, go fuck yourself. I mean, get the fuck out of my house. Bye.